We're hunting down some number bonds. Number bonds are a pair of numbers that add up to another specific number. Let's try tracking down as many number bonds as we can for the number 10. There you go, six and four. Once added together, they create the number 10. As do five and five. Now let's have a go at finding some of the number bonds for the number 20. 10 and 10 work. And 12 and 8. And many more. The higher the number, the more number bonds it will have. Yes, but how should we escape? Great idea. We can get five in a car and there are 12 cars. Do you think that'll be enough? <laughs> One times five is five. Two times five is ten. Three times five is fifteen. Four times five is twenty. Five times five is twenty-five. Six times five is thirty. Seven times five is thirty-five. Eight times five is forty. Nine times five is forty-five. Ten times five is fifty. Eleven times five is fifty-five. Twelve times five is sixty. Yeah. Well, that was perfect. Everyone escaped. And we learnt that the five times table always ends with a five or a zero. What a great day! Mick is going to be busy this week. He's got 30 performances booked. But a pair of dancing trousers only lasts for five performances. How many trousers is Mick going to need, Suki? To divide using the line method, you can count how many jumps of five you need to take along the number line until you reach 30. Hey, that's it! Mick needs six pairs of dancing trousers. <laughs> Better make that seven pairs of trousers, Suki. Balloons! I love balloons! Don't worry, you can share them out equally by dividing the number of balloons by the number of you. We could use an array. There are four of you, three of you, and 27 balloons. If you divide them into three groups, and then count how many balloons are in each group, you get nine. So you each get nine balloons, because 27 divided by three is nine. Just like three times nine is 27. And that's fair, and everyone's happy. Well, there are 20 of you, and there are four spaceships, so we need to work out how many of you to put in each spaceship, which we can do by dividing 20 by 4. <gasps> dividing is just the opposite of multiplying. <gasps> well, 20 shared into four equal groups is 5, just like 4 times 5 is 20, which means 5 of you need to get in each spaceship. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20... Wait a minute. Where's the other guy? You're still packing? Oh. Excellent. Well, there are 13 of you. Uh, 12 of you. And you need two ice skates each. Think you have enough? One times two is two, two times two is four, three times two is six, four twos are eight, five times two is ten, six times two is twelve, seven times two is fourteen, eight twos are sixteen, nine twos are eighteen, ten twos are twenty, 
Eleven twos are twenty-two. Twelve twos are twenty-four. Oh. If the two times table gives you trouble, all you have to do is double. Oh, you're buying oranges for your hockey team. So, seven players on your team, and each player gets three oranges at half time. So that's three plus three plus three plus three. Um, how did you figure that out? An array. OK, so we need seven groups of three oranges. Ah, you put them in three rows of seven to make an array, which shows seven times three, or three times seven. So that's 21. 21 oranges. Oh. Well, the math was very impressive. You know, I can't help feeling that this would work better with something to aim at. Mm? Well, it's 10 pin bowling, so what we need is the 10 times table. 1 times 10 is 10, 2 times 10 is 20, 3 times 10 is 30, 4 times 10 is 40, 5 times 10 is 50, 6 times 10 is 60, 7 times 10 is 70, 8 times 10 is 80, 9 times 10 is 90, 10 times 10 is 100 11 times 10 is 110 12 times 10 is 120 <laughs> That's better! Now try! Ah! Oops! Well at least the 10 times table is easy Just add a zero to the number you're multiplying Multiples can look scary But they're really just extended times tables Let's experiment to find out more. Dr. Monkey, how do we find the multiples of two? Ah, yes, a two legged <laughs> robot pig. That should do the trick. <laughs> now multiply it. Each of these numbers are multiples of two, so share two as a common factor. 14, 16, 18, 20. You can keep going as far as you like. See how the numbers all end in 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0. What if we try a different creation? Like multiples of 5. A five-legged robot pig. You've outdone yourself, Dr. Monkey. <laughs> Again! Five is the common factor in this case and all of the numbers end in zero or five. So when you're monkeying around with multiples, try not to make a pig's ear of things. <gasps>